All right, welcome to today's stream. We're doing Advent of Coat. Um, yesterday I struggled with day 17 again. I didn't get part one done. And no matter what I tried, it was just too slow. So I eventually gave in and I did what the uh, good programmers slash good um, software engineers do and I looked at what others had done. So I figured uh, I rewrote everything from scratch. <coughs> Most of the, the code I saw was in Python. So I uh, adapted it a bit for Haskell. Uh, we're still using the arrays because those are quite easy. We removed all the uh, modification stuff so we don't have like the SD monad hanging around anymore um, and it works for the example and it finishes on the input uh, quite fast with um, uh, a special trick that I figured out so let's go through it again so the parsing is the same right we just have an array of uh, weights for the the heat, um, but we simplified it a lot, right? So it's quite, so now instead of keeping an ar another array that we're modifying and writing the shortest distance to um, to a given position, we just keep a, a heap uh, of the positions and the directions, the direction we took to get there and uh, the length of the path it took to get there and then we just keep inserting the speed so if we if we're seeing something again um, we know that because we're always looking at a heap we're always getting the shortest path uh, so far so then we're, we're gonna get seeing something again then we know we have a shorter path to it then we skip it and then the trick is if we see something again from uh, the same direction Right, so we got there from the same direction before. Um, so that that's the trick, right? So instead of so so, I think my approach would have worked uh, given enough time. But the problem with it was that we kept trying to maintain all these paths and all the possible paths, and then you were gonna look at the path in the end, and it was just too slow. But uh, with this implementation, we just have uh, two sets. You know what we have visited uh, so have we seen this node from this direction before and then we have this heap and this is a nice trick uh, sets in Haskell are actually just heaps uh, except you know the elements have to be unique but in our case uh, the elements are unique so it just works out so instead of um, so what I do now is um, <coughs> I say, so now we just always turn, okay? Uh, instead of saying, okay, you can go up, down, left, right. We just say, you know, if you're coming from up, you're gonna turn, if you're coming down, you're gonna turn. But take is then we're gonna take three steps at once. Or, uh, so we, we're gonna take one step, two steps, and three steps, and we're gonna add that all to the heap at once uh, with the shortest path there. And then we can always turn, because if we were have, if we would have gotten there in a valid way uh, from without turning uh, it, it will already be in the heap so we don't need to think about that then we simply generate uh, so all so we take the steps right so we uh, left or right or up and down and then we just generate all combinations of those right so taking up ah, so not all combinations but all uh, number of times we can take the steps right so you can go up once twice or three times uh, and what we do here is just so we just replicate it right so you have one two and three and then um, we figure out from the uh, from the paths we figure from the, the directions we just calculate the path and the direction that we took and then uh, we just make sure that they're all in bounds. We're not escaping the grid. And then we map this PF function. What does that do? Well, it takes the current path, like the current uh, length of the path from this node. And then 
we just add up the length of the pan. So we get the new length of the pan, right? And this just involves looking up this array piece. So instead of, so here is where we would have like be writing it through the array or something like that. We don't even need that. And now the trick, right? So these, this is gonna be a list of uh, new nodes for the heap. Hi there, Lenny. Nice Icelandic keyboard happening here. Um, uh, she might make a guest appearance later today. I have heard I'm getting uh, vanilla cookies. Not bad. Not bad at all. Um, okay, so yes, what was I saying? Yes, yeah, so instead of like creating a list of new nodes, we create a set of new nodes, uh, which is cool because then when you add it to the heap, you just take the union of the two sets. What does this do? Well, it makes sure that so it's it's a it's a, it's a very fast operation, right? I think it's like log n log m, uh, or like min n m log n, where it's like the size of the two, and because one of them is quite small, it's going to be super fast. And then we can do this. Uh, this is basically heap pop, right? Delete find min. So we take the smallest element in the heap and we take the rest, right? So uh, what do we gain here? Now we have a proper binary tree heap, um, meaning that, so even though popping takes log n and inserting takes log n, that's a lot better than uh, popping taking O of one, which is good, but then insertion took O of n, right? Which is not good. So now it's super fast and, and it takes 1.6, seven seconds on the doing the example and part one and I'm pretty sure this is correct but we I haven't checked it yet so I'm gonna pop it in here and see boom we did part one finally continue to part two uh, they also gonna upgrade to ultra crucibles so they're even harder to steer not only do they have trouble going to straight line, but they also have trouble turning. So it needs to be a minimum of four blocks to move. Uh, okay, so before it was minimum one, it was minimum four. However, it will eventually get to start good wobbly and ultra clubs will make them 10 consecutive blocks without turning. In the above example, ultra closable could follow this path to minimize heat loss. Uh, 94. Here's another example. <laughs> Let me just say, uh, so let's just take in these int, int, min step, max step, and then so instead of saying one and three here, we say min step to max step. And then die extra, so th for the example, we're gonna be getting, uh, oh, cause this is saying, okay, we replicated, so before we replicated it once up to 10 times. Nice indeed. But now we're doing, no, I want to three times. Now we're doing it four to 10 times. So let me see here, main steps, this was one and three for the example, uh, this is going to be 4 and 10. Let me see. 102 still works. 94, it gets the example right. Um, 1171 in 6 seconds. Not too shabby. What is the least heat loss they can incur? Boom. Part two, done and dusted. So this is also what I figured about day 17. Uh, ah, there's a Android from Jane Street. We're not doing a camel though, but uh, we love those guys anyway. Uh, I've been wearing a lot of their t-shirts on the stream. So it's kind of like a double sponsoring. Anyway, uh, it works as I expected. Um, because I had seen what others had done in Python. 
and we adapted that. We don't have the heat PQ or whatever, but we can use sets because uh, we and we get you know decent performance, right? We could make it better by like unboxing the integers or whatever, but uh, that seems like a lot of trouble uh, for something that only takes seven seconds. So again, first of all, what we were doing wrong initially and why I was hacking for like six hours and never getting anywhere was I was keep, I kept trying to track the path because I wanted to debug it. But that just made everything super slow because I had to build all the possible paths, um, which was not good. Uh, so and instead of using lists, we used heaps. Okay, that took it down from like so this was before was like one and a half minute and it went down to for just part one and it went down to like 1.6 seconds so using the heap really made a difference and and then the only thing that matters is the direction that we came from and then we just do the turns right? and that was also the trick like do three steps at a time so do one and two and three steps at a time and then uh, we have the, uh, then we then we can just always turn. We're not deciding whether we can go up or down, and then checking if, in case we go up, that the path will be valid and all that. We just take the steps that we know are valid, and then put them in the heap, not just write them to this path. Thing, right? That was also what was messing it up. Right? We had this distance array, and we had this parent array, and we were trying to make it juggle the things, and it was just not working out. Okay, and uh, yeah, like I said, we had the right idea. We were at the end taking multiple steps at the same time by generating all the valid paths, but uh, because we just did it like one step at a time and then we were filtering and adding them, it just didn't work out. I think also the problem was that we didn't like sync up the paths we took and the paths, yeah, it was just a mess. Anyway, we did day 17 now. Let's. Uh, Let's go back and do day 18, but I think we're good for now. Let me see. Uh, so, and then again, how did I do it? Well, like any good software engineer, I, uh, you just, you gotta, you gotta look at what people have done before, right? You know, we're not going to do it like right away, but I feel like if you worked at something for six hours, and it's just not working out. Maybe you should consider uh, asking someone, seeing what they've done. Let me see. Touch day eighteen dot hs module main where. I did also have a sneak peek at day 18 and I love these effects by the way and I it's gonna see it looks like this we're gonna do green serum again luckily we already have green serum okay so <clears throat> what are we gonna do here so these factory is back one of the first okay so elves already treated so to make sure the lagoon will be big enough they ask you to take a look at the dig plan your puzzle input. For example, R D L D R D L U L U R U L U. Then they dig the specified meter meter up, down, left, or right, clearing one full one meter cubes as they go. The directions are given as seen from above, so up further north and right would be east, and so on. Uh, each trench is also listed with the color of that edge of the trench. Okay, so let's uh, take this example input here. Now I think um, I think it was day ten that was greens theorem. Yes, this is indeed green theorem. Okay, um, we're gonna be copying that, but well, let's uh, say pars. List of string. 
So what do I need for Green's Theorem? Mm -hmm. So there, uh, North, South, East, West. So this is going to be a list of, uh, let's actually make it up. No, north, south, east, west. Okay, that's easier. Uh, so it's going to be deer, and then a number, and then some RGP code parse. Stir parse equals map parse stir. Parse one where parse prime equal. Okay, so now we are going to. I'm sure I have split on somewhere here as well. Git grep split on. Oops. In day 14, we have it. Let's go to day 14. It's nice that we, you know, we've done all this pre-work previous days. So we can just reuse it. Okay, let me see. Par string and let me see. Uh, D, uh, N, A, S is split on. This is split on a... Um, Split on space. Stir. Okay, and then we are gonna say um, we're gonna say parse dear d read at int n s equals a uh, it's just like this uh, parse there and now if it says mm -hmm. r is equal to East uh, L is equal to West uh, D is equal to South R steer U is equal to Up Module No Main I uh, Main is equal to read file Example into <laughs> uh, this will be north actually. Day eighteen. Let me see. 18 day 18 variable out in scope ding, 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 ding. okay e6 south 5 okay nice the digger starts in one meter hole cube in the ground When viewed from above, the above example dig plan would result in the following loop of trench having been dug out from otherwise ground level terrain. Okay. So 
So let me see. Um, we can actually grab from day 17 also the moves, right? Mm -hmm. Mm. So this is gonna be uh no this is gonna be west east north so we're gonna get the uh, we're actually gonna get it um It's going to be upside down, but that's fine. Okay. Um, <laughs> now we're going to see um, part one. Okay, let me just uh, part one stirs equals where um, p equals a uh, parse stirs. Okay, and now I'm going to make just make the path. So path is going to be um, empty is equal empty path a. This is D and then times, and then we don't care about this one, is equal to uh, replicate in D concatenated with a path. So now we're creating the path, which is suboptimal, but it's okay. We, we we can optimize that away later, right? Let me say path. Yes. And then we're gonna say uh, moves. Print part one. So this is the path. Go back to day ten. And we want to say, um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so we had here green area. How did we do it? Um, so if we are going east, we add the y coordinate. If we're going south, we don't do anything. If we're going west, we deduct, right? Let me see. Um, Green area. Mm 
GSF is equal to GSF and let me make this like this green area of um, X comma Y Oh, so here we have um, so west. Oh, okay. So I want so east is adding, and okay, you're right. Ah, so it's not it's y x right? Okay. Green area y comma x and then d mm. let's see it's equal to um, where delta is equal to a GSF Is equal to a case D of so we're going east we're gonna add um, we're gonna add Y if we're going west we are going to minus Y otherwise it's zero and let's see green area TSF plus delta DS. Mm. <coughs> so we got minus forty two. I think we should just take the absolute value. When viewed from the above, the above example take Boolean. I think we did the wrong thing. Let's see. West, east. I should just get 42. Okay, um, the digger starts in a one meter cube hole in the ground. They then dig a specified number of meters up, down, left, or right. Clearing full one meter cubes as they go. Let's actually, um, let's start from one one, right? Right, we're getting the same because we're going around the path. They then take the specific number of meters up, down, left, or right. I think otherwise we are just adding one. So it's y plus one, as we're also counting the uh, area of the curve. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is 60, but we should be getting 62. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Let me see what is the area of the curve, which is to say the length of a and then length as P. This is 38. Let's not count the path here. And we get this uh, 80 number. It did take us a long time to get this uh, green area correct. Let's see uh, what we get here. We have the Okay, so it because it goes it goes north again, right? So it goes east. Okay, so first of all, they have dug 38 cubic meters of lava. So that it is one meter deep. Let me see, GTI um Sixty-two minus three-eight. We should be getting um, Okay, so because we're going the other way around, also.
We're getting forty two, thirty eight. We should be getting um, should be getting sixty two. So here now we're also counting now we're also counting when we go north and south. Mm-hmm. I think maybe something to do with the corners. Mm. Or maybe not. Let's see. Uh, south. One more minus one. Yeah, okay, they cancel each other out. So the total length we count all of them is 80. Ah, uh, is it just 80 minus 38? I think so. Then we get the right number, right? No, then we get the 42. Damn it. Let me see, um... So 80 minus 18... Um... of minus length paths, which is messing me up, 80, So here I do get 62, if I count the trenches when I go right and when I go... If I count those trenches, and then I, I think it's because I do add the... Let's just see what happens. This is certainly 62. Which is what it says it should be for the interior of the lava. Now let's see what it says for the input. Five two one eight eight. Answer is too low. Okay. We didn't get right there, right on time. Okay. 
and it was too low. But maybe the um, directions are just wrong. Mm. <coughs> I think maybe the path, so the directions are not really true. Okay, let me... I had this nice uh, from function, right? Uh, before. Let's see, from x1, x2, y1, x2, y2 is equal to, so if uh, x1 is equal to Let's keep it in the same coordinate. So if uh, y1 is equal to y2, if uh, x1 is less than x2, then to go from x1 to x2, you have to go east. Else west uh, x1 x2 if uh, x y1 y2 so let me see we added so north so if then north else south <coughs> then let's write our good old turns function again x y x is equal to uh, from x y um, turns x is turns of Anything else is equal to an empty list. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's see, um... Most path P... M... P... And let's see, uh, MP... And we want to see um, path P. I want to see uh, turns dollar map first and P. Oh, we run it on the input. So it says east, 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 south, 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 south. So it says, let's actually sip these two together. Length path P, length turns 
Mm. MP. Map first MP. And I want to see. Um, I want to see. Sip. Turns map first MP. With path P. Okay, yeah, so they don't agree in all of them, right? So, but turns is one shorter than the path because, um, Let me see, turns of x is equal to rom x 0, 0. And because we end in the origin, right? What is it saying here? We go up twice. Mm-hmm. Now both of them are the same length. Mm -hmm. I wanna actually flip it around and make make it easier for me to understand it. Do 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 Let's see, um, so we go north, I actually want to reverse the path, I think. Because mm -mm -mm. I wanted to start at the origin. Okay, then it goes north and it ends up going west. Okay. Let me see, MP, uh, MP MS is equal to turns, reverse, map, FST, MP. Now, okay, this is MP MS. And we are going to set this with um, reverse map first MP. And then we're going to pick the green area of the MPMS. Uh, and it has to be the other way around. And then if we're going west, we are deducting, otherwise we're adding and then we still get 80. which is off by 18.
Okay, so there was no point in all this. Let's just go back to this then. I think this is maybe also... to do, do again because kind of these shenanigans right two times y plus one and then this was supposed to be Divide it somehow, right? Mm -hmm. Four, four, two. to do something like two four right This is supposed to be something else, right? Let me see. We had some um, back on day ten. We did this right. Okay, why well, FL seven only contributes one. <laughs> so then we had these pipes, right? Mm 
So that was like if we're going east through a corner, then east was then the delta was. Uh, Four times y then delta is minus four times y we're going north it was just zero and if we were going south it was also zero Let me see. So here the curve always takes it itself, okay? Minus I think I'm having the same issues as when I was doing Greenk's error theorem before.
So we go clockwise around. And then we need to count for the corners. Uh, right, I think it's because the corners are being counted now. Right. So now the corners are being counted. That's 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 the problem. <laughs> so let's see, we have the path. Let's see, and then we have the Okay, so we have the path, and then we move path. Let me print that up. Um, so I really want to look at two points at the same time. Uh, let me see here. I really don't care about the axis here. I actually don't care about axis at all. map the map a x comma y comma d no y comma x comma d y comma d so mp is just the list of integers y1 Y1 comma D Ys Oh Oops This should be Y1, right? Green area zero MP. Divided by four. <coughs> okay, now let's look at the one. A Y two D two. I actually don't care about the Y one and Y two. So case D one D two of um, if we're going east east. If we are going west to uh, west to west, then we deduct. Now here we go again. Okay, 
So this is West West. So if we are going um, east and north, this is the um, this is the seven case. Okay, so this is A plus. Two times y. Okay, this is two times y. Um, if we're going east, oops, east south, then we are. We can't go east south because we are never. Uh, no, wait, maybe. Yeah. Okay, we're going east south. Um, then we're in the seven case, that's also a plus two y. Okay, now this is the east, and the east west doesn't exist, so west west, uh, west. South, so this is the F case, so this is minus 2y. Um, then we have the A west north, this is minus 2y as well. Okay, and then we have north, comma, north, zero. And we have north and then east. This is uh, two times y. This is the F case. And we have north west. This is the seven case. Now south and south and then east. This is the L case. So it's two y. And south and west and minus two y. Mm -hmm. Here I really do need to add. I already do need the X's here. Mm, because I need for the last one, I need to figure out. Uh, but it did, it goes to the origin. The last one is, um, let's see. So if I have, this is like this. Using delta d1 d2 uh, is equal to case d1 d2 of mm -hmm. it's complaining here that East North is redundant. Why? South, oh, I forgot, uh, south, comma, south. Mm 
Let's keep it the other way, okay? Write this function just here. Mm -hmm. Alt tab. Why? Uh, D one. Ah, because I didn't write D2 here. Good. Pattern matching catching us from disaster. Now, green area. GSF. I imagine we have one left is equal to... Where D2 is equal to from YX2 and is equal to um, green area gsf plus delta um, y d1 d2 d1 d2 now this should not probably not be like this green area So this is O. Here it doesn't matter, but this is Auric. So we're going to say from to Auric. And here we say Auric. So we know. So in, in that case, we go back to the origin and then we just have to say 0, 0. Ah, no. Head MP. Ding, ding. Okay, now we're getting minus 21, which is not great, but it is not terrible. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. See, I think maybe we screwed something up somewhere. So east, east is four. Uh, we go east and then north. That's plus two. We go east and then south. That's plus two. Um, we go west and then west. That's minus four. We go west and then south, that's minus 2. We go west and then north, that's minus 2 as well. Now we go uh, north, north, that's nothing. We go north and then to the right, that's plus. We go north and then west, that's 2. 
and then uh, we go south south that's zero we go south and east that's correct and south and west is minus mm -hmm. I think we should flip the sign on all of these. Uh, let me see. Minus. So we're going to go the other way around. Then we get 21. Now let's add a curve area. So we're just going to add the curve area here, okay? So south south is going to be 2. This is south and then east and then this is 2 and then this is north and then east. Okay, now west. West west is 2. West south was uh, one. West north plus three. East south plus two. East north plus one. Plus three. Okay, now we get thirty one. We're supposed to get 32. Okay, but here we divide by two. We should just do it by two. Let's see. We are suspiciously close. We are getting the right. Don't need the curve here. Five, two, two, three, six. That's too high. Let's see, uh, let's keep dividing by four then. Here, the spell side should just be four. So the corners are one and three, but uh... mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's not calculate the area of the curve here.
think they should be two. I feel like because we, I think I, I felt like we had green serum like nailed down, you know. Keeping a lot. Maybe that was just the thing. Good, we got part one done. Yeah, we just copy pasted our code from day 10. And we had some issues with... Um, we just had the issue with... Uh, we, so we did the same counting, same green area, same curve kind of thing. Except now we count the curve also, so we don't deduct the curve. But uh, we were then... When we were doing it, we were just dropping things. Okay, uh, now what is the... Pretend like we're much small. So I'll swap the color and instruction parameters. Ooh. Each hexadecimal code is six hexadecimal ridges long. First five distance in meters as a five digit hexadecimal number. The last hexadecimal digit encodes the direction to dig. The hexadecimal can quite a way to true instructions. Okay, now it's gonna bite us that we did the path. Um, but that's okay. Let me see. Parse string. Um, five text to GG text it as a number. Let me see. Convert these numbers then 
a five digit hexadecimal number. Okay, the last digit. So then let's a uh, part one parse stirs. Let's just write then part Let's have this then be a uh, dear what is it actually dear in string Let's just have this be dear int. And um, here, we're not going to start by parsing. Let me see. Parse to dear int. Uh, parse prime. It's also going to be dear int string dear int and we are just going to crop that one and here we're also just going to crop that one for now and um, P no P and now we're just gonna ignore this one then part one ours one part one dot pars nice let's see if it still works it still works so now we gotta parse to So let me see, parse 2, um, so the last digit, so 0 means R, 0 means R, 1 means D, 2 means L, and 3 means U, uh, so we take, we have the D and N, so we don't care about that, so we have the S, You see, we have the we have D and the N and the, the S and the S will start with a uh, parenthesis. So it's six hexadecimal digits, zero. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is going to be uh, like this, and then like hash, and then let's see, uh, x digs is a uh, take 6s, and uh, So and then a dear dig is um, going to be um, let's just take five of s and this is a drop five take one dot drop Take one drop five s equals a pars dear dear dig now how to convert from hexadecimal da 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 char hex
we have a um, we have a uh, we have it how do you convert Haskell converts from base 16 uh, show at base Hmm, this is uh, from base. Uh, okay. Google numeric. Show int at base read bin read tech read arc read hex nice Let's a x num is read hex. Hex num. Now I have to import numeric. Let's see, read file, example, print.pars to dot lines. Let's see, is it correct? 461937. Yes, okay. So it's converting correctly. Now, I think we should, um, instead of like creating the, let's just see what happens. Okay, I let's just see what happens. How long does it take for the example, for example? That's not too bad. In the meantime, we can uh, see what happens here. Um, So let's see. Um, uh, 
Now let's see path D and then NS. Oh, it finished. All right. It finished in one minute. That's not too bad. I mean, so what we could have otherwise done is kind of try to... Um, um, instead of... Instead of... Um, so we kind of just calculate the area of the joints. And, um, yeah, so kind of just jumping faster, but, okay. Git status, git add d 18 ds example, input git status. All right, we did, uh, let, let, let's just leave it at that. We're trying to catch up, so we're not gonna git commit um, d 18. Hit push. So, because it is the 19th today, let's just start with today's. See if we can catch up. Yeah, I mean, like I said, we could do this faster, right? By, uh, let me sketch it out. Sketch for speed. Uh, just calculate joints. Uh, so we would have, instead of replicate, then we would just have, you know, uh, east, north, west. Uh, make sure to inc increment the... I uh, add, so, so, you know, east 6 is equal to... Uh, East 5 plus a join point. Um, east 6 would contribute. East 5, East 6 would contribute. 6 minus would be then, you know, a minus 4 times would be a East N would be n minus 1 times minus 4 times y plus 2 etc right that's a sketch we're not going to implement it because we're trying to catch up but i think it would have been good all right let's go on to day 19 which is today's and then we are catching up you know Mm-hmm. Git commit in at sketch. More faster day 18. Ding ding ding. Okay, let me start here. Touch the 19.hs input example. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Module, let's see. Language Jitsi 2021. Module main where. Main IO main equals. Okay, Jitsi 2 day 19. Dot HSO D19 and time day 19. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me now do close others. I think what saves us here is actually laziness. Because replicate is not generating like this path 
and this moves, right? It's not generating the whole thing and then doing it, right? It's consuming it as it goes. Um, and then, because we're careful, we we consume, we consume, right? But because we're careful, we uh, we don't build up like a huge thunk because we make sure that the addition is evaluated, right? Doom, doom, doom. So it works. It's kind of cool. Um, you know, it's not super fast, but it's not slow either. Because of laziness. Take that, oh, camelers. No, we love those guys. Uh, and gals. Uh, let me see. Paste the example here. Now let's close the others. We're probably going to have to copy. Okay, uh, day 19. <laughs> I feel like we're doing good on the stats. Uh, a lot of people fell out after day 17, which is fair. It's quite difficult. So now we're in like the second half. Oh, yes. I had sneak peek this before also. It's a so it's like an avalanche system. Uh, so we have to accept or reject. And so there's a workflow and there's some rules. And then you send it to the workflow. Mm -hmm. So it's a funny input. It's going to take some uh, parsing, but we will uh, just start with a ooh, split on our favorite. Let me see. Um, okay, and then we are going to do so. Read file example uh, print dot parse. So parse is going to take in a string and uh, let's just not do anything yet. So parse string is equal to um, so let's do here uh, so close and items is split on and we're gonna split on a, an empty line line stir is equal to close comma items let's see what this gives us Excellent. So now we have the flows and items. So we're going to say here map parse flow map parse item where parse flow is the Okay, so here we are going to um, have a name, comma rest, and we're going to say take uh, so span not equal to this one. Okay, and then. Um, so that's the name of flow. Okay, then it just says A, 26, M, A, and then RFG. What is this RFG? Okay, if they parse more than X, uh, rule A, other because no other, otherwise, because no other rules match the part, the parts may be accepted. Extremely musical to minor shiny.
Okay. Name, X, like I said. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna... I'm gonna say here... Um, I'm just gonna drop a rules is gonna be filter not equal on rest and then let's return a nm comma let's say here split on Rules span st. Okay, now um, parse item st is equal to so this is gonna be uh, like this, and then items. We are going to say um, et i it's is gonna be um, do -de -do -de. let's uh, get the puzzle input. I just want I'm wondering if we have a lot of workflows, okay? But all the items always have. all of the values okay good um filter not equal to items okay and and so then we're gonna have x x m e s split on comma it's and we're gonna drop the first two here on all of them uh, let's see map drop to dollar split on xmas and we are going to return item dot dot um, language record puns and let's see data item is equal to item x int m int a int s int deriving eq show or read mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. let me see here GCI we could actually probably get away with parse item because the syntax is similar um parse item is equal to read at item item nice quite easy to read the items okay um 
So we have the, then we have the rules, data, rule, it's going to be, um, Mm. It's gonna be uh, one of the one of the um, ints. It's gonna be. Let me see. It's gonna take. Let's not make it too opaque. So it's either uh, accept. Reject or um, let me see a rule. So a re result is accept or reject or send to string and. Um, Let's so uh, instance so parse right okay so you see parse result a string to result is going to be parse result uh, a is equal to accept uh, parse result oh a new follower Hello. welcome to the stream reject parse result a stir is equal to send to stir. Now, um, so a rule is a data rule is a maybe condition result. And uh, data condition condition. It, if we have a condition, it's going to be a, a cond. It's going to be label, which is going to be a character. Um. It's going to be, then it's going to say, we're going to say comparison. So each rule, uh, x larger than 10, m less than. So it's either larger or less than. Uh, check. Uh, so LT is just a bool. So if it's not LT, it's a greater than, and then val is just int. Okay, now parse, result, parse, rule. So let's see. Map, parse, rule, rules. So a parse, rule, st. Let's see, uh, split. So if, if there's only one thing, R split on colon in SD, this is just nothing, comma, um, um, R's, re, R's result R. Mm-hmm. 
Scars rule. Scars rule. Taking the string and returns a rule. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's supposed to be like this. Okay, if we have only one thing, it's just a result. Otherwise, it's gonna be C comma R split on is the equal a just um, ours condition con c comma ours result r now parse condition parse con takes in a string and returns a condition Condition parse con. So we're gonna have a character here, and um, if this is larger than, then val. A is this equal to con con a. C uh, false uh, read at int val. Otherwise, this is LT, and let's just make this uh, if LT is equal to less than then. This is just this one, actually. <sighs> okay, parse rule print parse no show condition. I should say deriving show eq or all that jazz. No show result deriving show. Let's see, instance show result where, sh let's just say, show accept is equal to A, show reject is equal to R, show send to stir is equal to stir. Okay. So what I should do is I think I need to like uh, look at the uh, um, I don't remember the over overlapping pragma. I want to just do this overlapping because you can do this actually, but it comes right after here. Okay, where a show nothing comma r equal to show r show just c r is equal to um, show c show r okay and now what does it say now Let me see here, let's not derive this one. Uh, 
show instance show condition where show cond LLTV is equal to um, we do L concatenated with if LT then less else larger than um, concatenated with show V okay now we've uh, shown all the rules so I think let's just do part one where we just send them around okay Okay, so uh, part one um, str is equal to uh, let's just make it take in string let's actually make this right away just map string list of rules okay import data dot map map import qualified qualified data dot map as map and then a map dot from list and then we have all the So what you would want to do is like symbolic evaluation, right? Where you kind of symbolically evaluate, figure out for all these rules. Um, so I'm guessing that the rules are applied top to bottom. System works, but it's not keeping with the torrent of weird metal. For example, works in the list first, and the writings, all parts beginning with length named in okay so uh, let's see process item mm -mm -mm. do we get either so we take in the map string roll and we Take in a item, and we return true. We return false. True or false. Process item rules item. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see, uh, where? So in, so it gets sent to Let's do a, so match And we take your list of rule and we take an okay so all right okay so process item process item okay let's pause this let's say first here and uh, match 
a list of rule and an item and a we get a result okay and then let's see char to sell char to item to int char to sell if it's x this is x it's m with is m a is a s is s match let's see r so if it's nothing we return accept I think if there's nothing, um, okay, let's see, match RRS is equal to. Uh, now let's look at the rule. Nothing. R. So if there's no condition, we just return R. Match just. Pond Okay, so then we have okay, this is not cont, it's cont, and now I want to just see it also here. Then we do um I wanna have it open in both windows. So this is cond and how does condition look? Uh, where s cell is equal to char to cell a l, and then a comp is equal to um, if l then. If LT then else mm -hmm. Okay, so let's just say so let's say, so fun is equal to um, I is equal to chart to cell L apply to I uh, this is applied to comp um, well just conned Let's see, if uh, char, let's see, if char to cell L, it comp well, if then R else match 
RS AT. Language record wildcard, it's called the extension that I want. Okay, so now let's say um, process item map string rule item boom. So we're just checking whether it's accepted or rejected. Process item rules height is equal to uh, where so in rule is equal to rules uh, map dot bang in okay and um, then we say here case a uh, match in our hit of accept true reject false reject reject send to k Him here, uh, this process item period and in, and then where process item and key is equal to um, case rules map dot bang k sent to k prime is equal to process item k prime Mm. I just need to do it like this. Process item key prime. Okay. Ooh, another fairy. Belay. Welcome to the stream. I hope you are enjoying the habit of code. We are doing day 19 today. We started by explaining the solution to day 17 uh, then we did day 18 which took a bit and now we are doing day 19 part one okay so let's see here part one takes in a whatever this uh, returns map string rule and then a list of item Ding, 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 ding. Let me see. And then adding up the Xmas rating for each of the accepted parts. Add up item. Hint. Add up. Item is equal to x plus n plus a plus s to int part one, and then we're going to say rules items is equal to um, some map add up 
a filter process item rules items <laughs> one nine one one four huh okay it was not uh, too slow for the example at least I mean the way to do it is to make it uh, like just figure out like given given what range what items and where but uh, okay non-exhaustive functions and function parse mm -hmm. uh, maybe I never well, I didn't paste the input drink that was quite fast. All right, we did part one of uh, day 18. Not bad. Oh, day 19, sorry. Now let's figure out day two process still isn't fast enough um, each of the four ratings can have an integer value ranging from a minimum of one to a maximum of four thousand <sighs> of all possible distinct combinations of ratings your job is to figure out which ones will be accepted it would be super nice here if we had the, if we computed the thing like we said we should do. Let's see, uh, what is, uh, four thousand times four thousand times four thousand times four thousand. It's a large number, but uh, let me see, part two. <laughs> Where items is equal to um, item over uh, so all possible x's so one four thousand one one four thousand one one four thousand one one four thousand one mm -hmm. these are all the items a from one to four thousand let's just see what happens oh we can do we say part one i'm being so lazy right now ding, 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 ding. Okay, it's not doing great on time for part two, which we kind of suspected, but uh. Okay. Mm -hmm, 
So I think we need to like make a like a decision tree. We have to convert the whole thing into a decision tree. Ding do 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 So funny this works though. It works very fast for part one. That's for sure. That's kind of nice. So what we want ultimately is we want we want a list of ranges that uh, will be accepted and a list of ranges that will be rejected. Mm -hmm. So let's say, uh, let's get cracking. Uh, this is not gonna finish. It's not gonna run out of memory though. I'm pretty confident. Which top? Uh, but it's going to run for a while. <laughs> Let's just see import. Mm -hmm. Oh, it doesn't even start. Ah, that's bad. Let's not do it this way. Um, let's just first uh, inspect the rules. Mm -hmm. Let's make a tree. Uh, let's make it into a decision tree. Uh, how do we do that? Let's see. Um, So let's see, data, we have a rose tree, Hugo, rose tree, tree, a so we have trees in Haskell, which are actually um, just a uh, Import data dot tree tree import qualified a data dot tree as tree. So we are going to create a, a decision tree. And then we're going to view it. Okay, uh, let's see. Dick tree. D 
takes in the rules string rule and returns a um, a tree of uh, conditions I think of uh, cond okay so uh, deck tree is equal to um, let's actually make this like this so it has the rules, and then we have the current rules. Um, okay, let's do it like this. Deck tree uh, rules is equal to deck tree prime map uh, rules map dot bang in where tech tree prime of um, empty is just mm -mm -mm. So this is a So we don't have any more rules um, then we default to accepting okay so this one is a node nothing comma except let's import tree tree and its constructors No, nothing except, and then mm -hmm. deck tree takes in prime, takes in rule, and returns tree condition. No, what does a condition look like? Ah. No, that's not what I want. Um, takes a list of rules and returns a rule. Um, and this, this, so this one is nothing comma except. Okay, uh, now, however, <laughs> okay, so we are figuring out the tree here, deck tree prime. Um, we have a rule and it has no condition nothing comma r if it has no condition then we do node nothing comma r and then there is no subtree however deck tree prime mm, just c comma r rs this is going to be um
I'm not ready. Uh, I don't think this is correct. So let's write it down, okay? So we kind of want to say, okay, is we have here x we have here, you know, we want to say like for the first one, so the CRN you want to say, uh, so it's okay for the first one, it's going to be so s less than 1, 3, 5, 1 so it is a condition and uh, ooh, how do I? It's a condition, right? And then if it holds, then we have like the tree for px. Okay. Um, if it does not hold, then we have a qq set. So the nodes are conditions, which was correct. Condition. Okay. Um, so let me see here, node condition. And if there is Let's see, if there is no condition, then we've, uh, it's just an error, I guess. Error, no. We'll... Okay, so deck tree of um, just C. It means maybe condition. Let's see how like that. Oh, I don't know. Okay, a decision tree. So let's just do this condition here, okay? Just C, comma R, RS. This is going to be tree. And then we have the condition. Okay. Then we have a. <laughs> so then we want to have one subtree which is like the condition and then we want to have one subtree which is the like the RS the rest Okay, so here we check on the condition. Let's have either condition result. And then this is either condition or result. Okay, this is just going to be tree, right, accept, and then nothing. Okay, tree just so if we have deck tree here, deck tree, um, let's see, uh, nothing, comma, R, RS is gonna be right R, and then nothing, because we're not gonna check the condition. Here, we are gonna say, um, B, we're gonna say um, LB equals case R of if it's a accept 
then it's just a uh, tree um right so actually if it's sent to s then we do something uh otherwise it's just always write r uh, but i'm always saying tree here i should be saying node right node node and um, case r of sent to s This is going to be left condition, okay? Left C. And it's going to be deck tree prime of rules map.bang S. So let's see deck tree of rules. Part one. So this is the whole tree. Now let me, we want to say a print tree, draw tree. Draw tree. Um, I think I can do tree dot map. Oh, I can probably do f map to stir. Stir so left C is equal to show C to stir right R is equal to show R and then I don't want to print this, I just want to put stir Ellen. <laughs> so okay uh, let's go back to the example so in um So if S is uh, less than 1351, then we send it to PX. And PX has, if A is less than 2006, we send it to QKG. QKG is less than 1416, then we send it to A. Otherwise, we send it to CRN. Aha. Uh -huh. I need this here. Also, mm, so here I just have the condition, but it's always like that. Um, this is going to be actually LB. Aha, uh -huh. see, and now I have like a nice decision tree. Mm. 
and um, Ding, 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 And then we have accept or reject, right? Reject or accept. Accept or reject. It's a nice tree. Let me see what it says for the input. Now we'll have a lot bigger tree. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Okay, it's just a lot bigger. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So this one actually let's they split the range, right? Okay, so it's, I mean, it's so now. Uh, let me see. We're getting there. We are doing okay, I feel. We got the uh, tree going. Let me just uh, run it here as well. We need to... Uh, so now we need to figure out how they uh, split the range. Ding ding ding. So in this one, right, if S is less than let's see here, okay, um so let's assume that um so accepted going to be like int to int, int to int, int to int, int to int. Okay, um, now, okay, so let me see. So we're going to say take the like the range of acceptance and we are going to create two ranges um when you write here type range equals in comma int okay we have a um, Range, comma, range, comma, range, comma, range. And we have a decision tree. Tree, either condition, 
result. And this is going to split it up into two different ranges. Okay, so we actually we're just gonna do like this. Okay, accept it. So we have um, X. Uh, Min X and Max X. Um, ooh, no, it's not. It's, it's actually a list of ranges. Okay, and it's going to return... Let me actually just make this into like a list of list of ranges. And we are gonna return our ranges. Okay, let's see. Uh, ranges. Accepted ranges, uh, and then let's see if we are looking at a node, right? Accept. We don't care. Then it's is equal to ranges. Accepted ranges. If we're looking at a node, right, uh, we checked. This is equal to, um, then none of them are accepted, right? This is the um, let's have not have this like a let's have this uh, map char range right map char range now uh, if everything accepted nothing then everything accepted that got there is accepted. Uh, map punctual map. Mm. Okay, so these are the tr the trivial cases. Okay, now, um, Now we're gonna see. Okay, accepted ranges. Accepted ranges, and now we have a node with the left uh, condition. Um, and how do conditions look again? Cond um, is going to be char 
is going to be less than and it's going to be about. And then we might have um, we won't have a um, right, so we'll have a um, accept tree reject tree is equal to okay so I have the ranges So now I'm going to say here, um, split ranges, so I have the C, okay, let me see, uh, where affected range is equal to uh, ranges map up and C. This is going to be the affected range Okay, uh, the affected range is a list of ranges So we're going to create now so that for that range we have to create two branches, right? Those that are will be accepted in that range and those will be rejected in that range. Um, ding, 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 ding. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, so now we're gonna say, um, Map SPL ranges where so SPL. So now we are talking about the right value. Um, SPL takes in a range and and returns a, a list of ranges which is actually going to be two ranges split a range min range max okay uh, let's just return nothing here for now so um, Accept ranges uh, Okay, and let's just say this is um, min range max, and uh, then this is range max to range max. So affected range. So we're actually gonna and zip arc of range ridge of range okay so we are going to say arc map is equal to um, map update Map dot insert um, and then a key and then 
attack F range um ding 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 <laughs> into um ranges okay so this is the accept map and this is the rich map map dot insert see reg f range ranges <laughs> Okay, and then I, what I want to do is I want to say Okay, this one, so this one just actually map.empty Okay, and now I want to say uh, map dot union mm, accept it um, ac map ac map um, accept three. Accepted uh, reg map reject three. So the ones that are going to be accepted are the ones that are accepted in the left hand side and the ones that are accepted in the right hand side. Okay. Um, Okay, and they accept and then, so to split a range like this, now I have to see. Um, if LT. So then we are saying C is less than val. Then else we have C is larger than Val. Then um, so he, this is the range of accepted values. So this is going to be, um, this is then just going to be range min up to val, and this is not inclusive, okay? And the ones that are going to be rejected or accepted are these, and the ones that are going to be rejected are val to range max. Um, so the ones that are going to be, if it, in this case, the ones that are going to be accepted are a uh, val, ah, uh, but it's max, uh, so this is min, range max, val. And this is a max range min valve. Okay, and here it's gonna be so the ones that are gonna be accepted are the ones from a so 
then, then we just actually we just it's the same but we flip it so let um, below equals above is these okay this might work ah oh, one in like here for coming up not bad so if less than then we accept those below comma above in Below, comma, above. Else, um, we accept those above and we reject those below. Got some vanilla cookies. Let me have one. Hey, I'm going to need some paper though. stuff filter out uh, invalid ranges filter not empty and uh, not <coughs> empty um X Y so uh, range from X to Y is not empty. Uh, it's equal to so X is less than or equal to Y. Simple as that. Uh, no X would be if X is equal to Y, it's actually empty. Now let me see here. <coughs> what happens? Uh, for example, here. Accepted. <laughs> so now we have this, uh, we're doing this part two. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, and we have the um, the 
decision trait Let's see. D tree of uh, rules is going to be decision tree. Of the rules. Let me just. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, D tree. So tree string. Okay, so now we're gonna say um, ranges uh, is gonna be um, so we're just gonna uh, repeat range uh, one two. So from from zero. Um, so numbers in the range, if it's larger than the bottom and less than the bottom, 0 to 4001. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And this is just going to be this, and then we're going to say... Um, sip X M A Yes. Ranges char any any and uh, this is gonna be map dot from list. So let me sprint here. Ranges is gonna be map char. List of range. Okay, so then we need to repeat actually like this. Ding, 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 Where do we actually... I don't think it's a list of ranges actually, I think it's just... Uh, I think it's just range. SPL. This is just going to be map char range. Map char range. Um, okay, yeah, now it's no longer. Let me see. Okay. Now, what if I do <coughs> accept it? Ranges D3.
Oh, okay. And I need the union with here. Merge range. Okay, where um So that's the trick, right? See, merge range X one to Y one um, X two to Y two. And now we are getting it back into the intersection problem. Grab intersection. We had some of this in like day five, I think. Uh, see to ranges. So these are the two ways ranges can enter five right ways. Ranges can intersect. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, let's uh, let's just do this again. So we have a uh, case one x one y one x two y two. So this one should be empty. Okay, none of these are accepted. Then we have um, X1, X2, Y2. Let me make it clearer which one is which. Y1, okay. Then we have um, this case here. And then we have this case here, x2, x1, y1, y2. Then we have the case um, where they intersect on the, so x1, um, x2, Y one oh. Y two and I think this is the fifth case um, is the other one right X two E and then X two and then x1 and then y2 and then x y1 ding ding okay so how do we check for this if um Y1 is less than Y uh, X2.
If Y1, it's nice and X2. Then we get the empty range here, which is going to be Ah, uh, no. Yeah, <clears throat> okay, so this is going to be empty range X2, Y1. Here, X1 is less than or equal to X2. And uh, Y2 is less than or equal to Y1. It's just going to be X2 to Y2. Same here, uh, X2 less than or equal to X1, and Y1 less than or equal to Y2. Let me make sure first that if, if one of them is inconsistent, so case y1 is large, it's less than or equal to x1, x2, y2. Case um, x2 is y2 is less than or equal to x2. So we prefer the sane one, and if they're both bad, then uh, <coughs> we don't care. Okay, so here y1 is less than or equal to x2. Okay, um. Oh, this is supposed to be, this is the comment. All right, so here we go, x1, comma, y1. Okay, and here we have that x1 is less than or equal to x2. And y1 is less than or equal to y2. Mm. and x2 is less than or equal to y1 then we get um, x2 comma y1 that's where these two intersect now here is probably We're gonna say here um, x2 less than or equal to x1 and x1 less than or equal to y2 and y2 less than or equal to y1. It is equal to so here the correct range is x1 to y2. Now those are all the cases I can think of. So. Otherwise, error merge range. <coughs> uh, show merge range x1, y1, x2, y2. Hmm. 
So then we here we have um well, if S is less than Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let me get here. Um num accepted. It's gonna be um It's gonna be um, map jar range um accepted equal to uh, int. We're gonna say a uh, map dot lm um, sum no product. I think they should all be less than Product um, map a y y minus x Okay, merge range. A, B, case. Okay, this probably has to be uh... <clears throat> if Y one is Okay, this merge range is just. Uh, we need to have these lists, I think. And then we can figure out the length of them later. Map union with. Let's bail on this and let's see and see. 
accepted ranges, and then we're gonna. So accept range one two thousand six. I think I should uh, I should not I should do num accepted And I don't have to do this. I don't have to do any range merging. Um, ding. Let's just see here. Num accepted. Um, map range. Add to int. Num accepted equals trace show. RNGS. RNGS zero. Mm -hmm. Num accepted. Uh, Okay, this should be char. So this should be um so here, it's all, there's no um, merging business going on. So we can actually just have it like this. And then we can do again, do this. And this is just map jar range. And now we, we're not gonna be doing any of that like merging multiple ranges business I think that's just gonna be a big mess um, so here so these are the ones accepted in this branch of the tree so I am going to say um,
trace show where na is equal to um, map.lms ranges and then map so for each range how many elements are in the range and then we take the product on that and I'm gonna say trace show RNGS in a in a Ooh, one six four distinct company. So we're not far away. Maybe it is if I have because I could do one inclusive. I make the ranges a bit bigger. No. So here we are looking at the Okay, let me change this This is gonna be um, Y minus 1 Minus X plus 1 We are so close though. So the ranges are going to be from 1 to 4,000. So the ranges are inclusive. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, so below the number, well, minus 1. Above the number, The number is not there. You see, are we almost there? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then we do, so now this is the number of numbers in the range.
I kind of did a plus one here. <clears throat> we are so close. Good, except that one. Six, seven. These are the, it's going to be inclusive. Okay, then we need actually, yeah. We are off by a few. Let's see, um, now let's check. This S is less than one three five two five zero. S is less than one three five one. S is less than two thousand six. And X is less than fourteen fifteen. In fact, it's larger than 2662. Right, let me count those. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think that one is correct. No, A is less than 2006. But, um, hmm. So these are the first two here. So if A, A is larger than 2006, okay, then we have this one. And then M is. Okay, and then we accept we accept all of these. Mm 
Now here, uh, it's in this branch, so A is larger than 2006. And M is less than 2090. Okay. So, yeah, okay. <clears throat> Then it says A larger than 333. Uh, reject. Otherwise, reject. Yeah, okay. So S has to be larger than 537. And X has to be less than 2440. Yeah. I mean, I think the ranges are being correctly handled. So if it's less than that, we should accept the ones below and reject the ones above. Otherwise, we should accept the ones above and reject the ones below. If less than, then less than. Some One six seven four. We are so close.
of all possible distinct combinations. So we can have a maximum of zero. Yeah, and I think I think this is correct, right? So then And it's x my y minus one minus x. So from zero to four thousand one, there should be four thousand distinct possibilities. No, it should be three ninety nine, I think. Accepted and node right accept uh, ranges of so if I just accept everything. This is um, 4,000 times 4,000 Exactly, okay, so I think the accepted is correct and the ranges are correct Maybe Val is also supposed to be accepted.
node write accept. Distinct combinations of ratings and will be accepted. You see, because I, I feel like we are almost there. But, um... You're getting a too high of an answer. If it's supposed to be inclusive, we need to... I feel like we're quite close. We're just... We're not getting... I think we have the right idea. But... Uh, 
Yeah, look at the right to see. Maybe, so I feel like we could simplify the tree also. Mm -hmm. We see simplify. Um, no, right, except. Okay, is accept node right accept true is accept false is reject. Ah, right, let me see. Okay, all same. Let me see, uh, simplify node uh, left children a comma b equals let a prime equals simplify a b prime equals simplify b uh, in if in if a prime equals b prime then a prime else node node left c a prime b prime simplify let me see and now simplify the tree Do 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 deriving EQ and I need to derive EQ for result also.
and should not have simplified things and uh, should not have changed the number but it did mm -mm -mm. Uh, because because it um Because it removes one number, right? I think that's what I am messing up here. I think that, um, Yeah, I think that's the thing. I should simplify and now let's print the tree again. Ding, ding, ding. Let me see. Um, tree string. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So I can simplify the tree because if both are except, then I can just replace that with except. If both are reject, I can just replace that with reject. Okay, and now let's go back to this. I think the problem is that that uh, whenever I split, it it should be like plus one, right? So so these are not exactly correct. So if less than then it is a range min range min min range max and then val minus one that should be accepted and it should be max range min val right so because val it should be less than or equal to for val here range max now if anything above should be accepted it should go from max range min val plus one um, to range max <coughs> and what should be rejected is anything from range min min range range max val because otherwise I was like uh, dropping one here and there so one seven four seven seven four zero nine zero. Nice. This is the right number. That was it. Okay. So what was the problem? Um, 
problem was that we did we we were not including the value right because the above should be less than or equal to right we were cutting it out on both ends which is not good now let's uh, not trace show here oh i don't think it matters Okay, we have a new number. All right. We did day 19. Boop, boop. So now we're all caught up. Did take us a while though, but that's okay. We did, uh, we explained the solution to day 17. Uh, we chugged through day 18 we got off by being lazy we sketched up how we would do it but uh, we just it's haskell it's fast we didn't have to do too much and then for day 19 we were so close for so long but we just messed up the split but we had the right idea all right let me add git add day 19 dot yes input example Git status, git commit, m, d19. Git push. All right, that's all for today. We've caught up to everything. Uh, I want to take one last look at day 17. That took so long. So what was the trick to day 17? Take multiple steps at the same time. And then always turn because if you took multiple steps, uh, you you should turn next. Keep track of the directions and use sets as heaps. Don't track the path that kills the performance. Anyway, thank you for tuning in. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow. Well, legally today in Sweden. And with day 20 of the Advent of Cup. All right. Thank you for tuning in. Bye-bye.